Kata Kataka means pink cockatoo in Barkindji language. And that's our name for this beautiful bird that has a long history and connection to our culture and country. There's another name that's utilised for this bird, and it's one that we don't talk about. Major Thomas Mitchell committed many atrocities against our people, and particularly the well-documented massacre at Mount Dispersion, which involved Barkindji people, who were very concerned about the, the surveying and, and interactions and incursions on our country. They were keeping a safe distance, but rather than talk and discuss and conciliate with our people. Major Mitchell and his men created an ambush, a preemptive strike. So instead of conversation, there was conflict and many of our people were killed even while they were crossing the river trying to get to safety. So we don't talk about that name and we utilise our own name, Katakataka or Pink Cockatoo. So I'm exploring a couple of narratives around this extraordinary bird and one is its link to one of our central creation stories of the two Nudgee travelling, the two rainbow serpents travelling and creating and forming our country. And in the version of this story told by Alf Barlow and, and recorded in 1957, he tells of a moment where the two Nudgee came across a cocky in a hollow tree and it was a pink cockatoo in a hollow tree. And that story talks about travelling around places on country, around significant sites. So it's not only a narrative, it's actually a, a map and a locator for important places and creation places on our country, which features this wonderful bird on the tour of the two Nudgee. In current days, the narrative has changed quite significantly. There's been so much change to our country through colonisation and a lack of respect and understanding how important it is to care for country. So for Karakataka, the primary nesting place are in hollows, in old growth trees. In my work here, in a beautiful river red gum around the Mudawindji Gorge area. And unfortunately, there aren't as many of these trees as there should be. They've either been cleared, they haven't been able to regenerate through major grazing by invasive animals and not enough care and concern and understanding of how important these trees are for the nesting of these birds and for their survival. So it's very distressing for us and for many around the country that these birds are now threatened in terms of their conservation status. The repeating patterns are really important and I see them as representing systems of knowledge and kinship over generations. And this system of kinship and knowledge and philosophical outlook towards country over 65,000 plus years means there's so many layers and there's so many aspects to it that define who we are ongoing. And so to be on country and to sit on country and just look at what's currently there now, visually, doesn't really give us an indication of that underlying history and the knowledge embedded in country. And so often that's represented through beautiful patterns, designs, whether it's on our belongings, shields and boomerangs, possum skin cloaks, whether it's painted on our bodies or for some mob carved into trees as well. These beautiful geometric designs create a patterns of continuity and the sense that our culture has always been here, will always be here, and it has a central focus and philosophy which is not only to care for country but to care for each other and our community more broadly. Initially I wasn't intending to make a moving image work, but reflecting back on my experience and the experience shared on country, and particularly this moment with Kartikartika, in the hollow tree, I wanted to try and express that idea of an ongoing narrative, of silent, ongoing and sometimes very gentle movement which goes unseen by many people, but for, for us people, for us mob and for a lot of First Nations artists, communities and groups, we're often working with the things that aren't seen and that aren't spoken and that aren't known and we're trying to share that broadly to create to create a dialogue that allows people to have access and a greater understanding of our culture and how we view the world. So I wanted to try and capture some of the, the silent, still, slow movements and that time to consider your relationship to country and where you are and to consider that in a, a meditative way and to see that sometimes you need to slow down. It's been an amazing journey, uh, I think, for me personally and for, and for all of us together. I think it refers back to 
where we started this idea of, of mirror tracks and narrative and, and journeying together and those ideas of con continuity to place and to our culture, connection, reconnection, learning and sharing knowledge, not just from each other but from others and that generosity that we have to learn and stay connected to who we are. So these works, Kata Kataka, Pink Cockatoo, really for me express a time of, of sitting quietly on country and it was just a real, I guess, an honour, privilege and a pleasure to be there and to share those moments and then to be able to share them in these works.